Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up today. So I think let's just briefly go through these one by one. We'll then go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Scribo Feel in the Verde Prato, the Scribo Feel in the Verde Bosco, a Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight, a Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight, a Visconti Ecstasy de Oud, a Visconti Camelot, a Visconti Jacques de Molay, the Monte Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove, the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown, and the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde. So let's look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the very beautiful, or at least I believe it's beautiful, Scribo feel in the Verde Prato. Now these are limited edition pens. You can see here the Scribo logo on the cap finial, but these are really, for me, beautiful pens. I am not really a great fan of the plain resin uh, although I do have a couple I have the blue black and the blue gray but for me this one is a really gorgeous model so I like this lovely sort of green uh, and I actually have it inked up with Pilot Orochizuku uh, Chiku Rin which is a, again a green that matches this pen very nicely so this is a piston filling pen uh, holds around about a milliliter of ink you also have a very blacked out ruthenium coated 14 karat gold nib there but this really is for me a not only a beautiful looking pen but also a pen that really really writes very well i do love these 14 karat gold nibs on these pens they are the extra flessibile nibs that omas used to have and for me they are very bouncy and quite flexy so i have that inked up this week i also have another scribo feel and typically i tend to have these both inked up at the same time but this is the scribo feel verde bosco and this is a much darker green but you can see there that there's still a lot of chatoyance going on in that pen uh, these again these both of these are limited edition ones uh, you can see there it has gold trim it's a rose gold trim um, but these are limited edition ones and this does have a 14 karat gold flex nib uh, just like the other scribo feel in the verde prato but these are just absolutely stunning pens now these are faceted but I, I do like them. I love the size. I love the weight. I love the ink capacity. So for me, that is another pen that I have inked up currently. I also have a Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. And this was the pen that I bought at, for Christmas 2019. And you can just see there all of that beautiful beautiful sort of gold dust there that's in that body and also the Raden stripes as well so this is a pen that I like again this is a limited edition uh, it's 268 of 333 comes with a very large Pelican M1000 medium nib and this is a number 8 size nib so this is a very very large nib but you can just see the beauty in that pen that Varden is absolutely stunning we then also have inked up another Pelican and this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight and you can see here this again is a beautiful pen uh, all these uh, Varden strips here it's a Pelican M1000 you have the pelican beak there in terms of the clip but this really is a stunning pen so i love writing with these uh, again this is a number eight size pelican m1000 nib and you'll see a massive feed there but these really are good writers 
and I'm so glad that I was able to pick both of these up actually within about a month of each other um, also from the same seller as well now I thought he was actually a personal collector seems as though he's actually a retailer or distributor because he actually has quite a few of these uh, but again he's actually selling those a lot more than what I paid for them so I'm actually quite glad that I was able to pick these two up for the prices that I did I also have this one inked up and this is the Visconti Ecstasy de Oud uh, or de Oud and uh, I think it's really pronounced de Oud, um, de Oud but this is inked up this is a pen that I absolutely love writing with why do I like writing with this well that's a very good question I typically like Visconti's. I like the length of this pen because I like longer pens and I like weightier pens and it's a bit more of a weighty pen. Uh, I like the story behind it but I also like that it has a 23 cat palladium nib and this is a medium nib and it's a bouncy nib so I do like writing with this a lot. So I have that one inked up with me as well this week. And then I also have a Visconti Camelot. And this is another stunning pen in my collection. I do love this chain mount effect. Uh, I just love everything about this pen. Uh, I love that the chain mount is silver. I love that the trims and the clip are all gold and it's a yellow gold as well but it just sort of for me is just a stunning pen so I just love this pen to bits and I whenever I can I write with it now this does actually have an 18 karat gold medium nib there you can see but this is a bouncy nib and very wet nib and I just love it. I love it to bits. Now this pen is a little bit back weighted because of all this silver, but it and also it's got a power back and some gold here. But this doesn't bother me, and I tend to write like this anyway. So for me, this is just an ideal pen size, and I love this pen, and I love writing with it, and I love having it inked up. Whenever the Camelot is inked up I try where possible normally to ink up the next one which is the Visconti uh, this is the last Templar and it is the Jacques de Molay and this was a birthday uh, pen that I purchased in 2019 and I just love everything about this pen and I wanted this pen for several years and Marco at Novelli was able to actually secure the pen from Visconti for me and I just love the pen the it's a power vac filler uh, but I'll show you here the knob is actually a chalice so it's a really really well themed pen and this comes with a 23 cap palladium nib and probably see it there it's a medium nib but again this in the size of my hand it's just it's not a weighty pen you would think it would be weighty but it's not that weighty but for me I just love writing with it uh, again it's got a 23 cap palladium nib medium nib it's wet it bounces uh, and when I say bounces it, it I mean flexes a little bit when you write or bounces when you write but this again is just a gorgeous pen and then I have this one and this is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 shiny lines dove and I do love this pen a lot and you can see there 1912 on the cap finial it's a piston filling pen I always have this inked up with the same ink I love that this actually has a uh, celluloid coloured section there and it also has a number 8 size shiny lines dove nib now this is a lot smaller and this is getting down to probably the minimum size that I would prefer to write with in terms of length uh, it's actually a moderately 
sort of heavy pen. It's not overly heavy, it's not overly light, probably in the middle somewhere, but I do like this. Uh, I can, if I wanted to, post the cap, but I don't feel it was designed to do so, and I don't normally post caps. So for me, I just love this pen, but you can see there that material really is beautiful. And then I have one of two Armando Simone Club Bologna Extras. This is the Arco Brown, and I do love these Arco materials. And I love to write with these pens whenever I can. But for me, this is really a beautiful pen. So I just love them. It's I find the size, the length, the weight of these pens for me are ideal. I like longer pens, I like weightier pens, and I like number 8 size nibs, and that is a number 8 size nib. It only comes in one nib width, and that's a medium nib, but it's a very wet, juicy nib, and it tends to write more like a, a western board. So, for me, I love it. I love it when this pen is inked up. And then, last but not least, we have... Again, another Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, and this is the Arco Verde uh, with gold trims. You can get it in silver trims. I actually have it in both, uh, but you can see there that material, again, just when it catches the light, just absolutely shines there. So it's just another pen that I love writing with, and you can just see how that material looks. Now, again comes with a number eight size nib and this is just an ASC Magic Flex nib. Again, it's a medium nib that writes very wet, very juicy, more like a Western board. But for me, this really is a stunning pen. And I love writing with the ASC pens and that's probably why I have quite a few of them. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample now. So I think the first pen that we have inked up that we'll do a writing sample of is the Scribo Fill. So I'm going to do an ink swatch here. As you can see the color of the ink that I have in this pen. And it is the Scribo Fill and it's the Verde and it's the Prato and it is a medium 14 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku and it's Chikurin. I think that's the correct spelling of it. But that for me is a beautiful green and it really matches this pen very, very well. The next pen is again another Scribo feel. So we'll do another ink swatch. And you can see just how wet this nib is. So it's a Scribo Fill Verde Bosco and it's a medium again 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon and it's Berzurden Wood Grawn, which is one of my favourite green inks. The next pen we have inked up is the Pelican M1000. So let's do an ink swatch. Now, I've got this inked up with a gold ink, and this is mostly because of the stardust glitter in the pen. So this is the Pelican M1000 Varden 
Starlight. And it is a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku. And it's Inner Ho. Which I think actually they that gold there actually matches the gold dust a lot in the pen. The next pen is again another Pelican M1000. We'll do an ink swatch. You can see that again this is a quite a wet nib. So it's the Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight and it is a medium 18 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is Franklin if I can write Franklin Christoph and it's sweet maroon which I think is a lovely maroon colour. And I could probably have any colour in this pen because there's lots of different colours. But at the moment I choose to have sweet maroon. The next pen is the Visconti Ecstasy Dude. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again you can just see how wet this nib writes. It's a very, very wet nib. So this is the Visconti Ecstasy Dude and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib. So I'm just going to abbreviate it with PD. And then the ink in here is Diamine Majestic purple which for me is a brilliant brilliant purple ink the next pen is the Visconti Camelot so again we'll do an ink swatch here now this typically tends to be a little bit more of a drier ink so this is the Visconti and it's the Camelot and it is a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple which again is another sort of purple ink that I like a lot. The next pen is the Visconti Jacques de Molay. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again you can see this is quite a wet writing nib. So it's the Visconti Jacques de Malay or Malay and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine earl grey and that's one of my favorite grey inks the next pen is the Monte Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So again we'll do an ink swatch. Now this one is actually a lot wetter than the Visconti as you can see there. So this is the Monte Grappa Extra 1930 shiny lines dove and I'm running out of space it's a medium and it's an 
18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here again is diamine Earl Grey. But that for me is a, a really lovely grey ink. But you can see the slight difference there in colours between the two nibs there. The next pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra. So again, we'll do an ink swatch here. Again, you can see that's quite a wet writing nib. So this is the, and I'm going to abbreviate this, it's the ASC Bologna Bologna, am I spelling it right? Yes, yes I am. Bologna Extra Arco Brown in a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon S-B-R-E Brown and then the final pen is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra and this is the Arco Verde so again we'll do an ink swatch again you can just see that these nibs are super super wet so this is the ASC Bologna Extra Arco Verde in a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon Bazurden Wood Grand which again is a beautiful ink that I love writing with and I already have inked up now twice on this currently inked video. So I think let's go through this currently inked set of pens one more time. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato with a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot of Washizuku Chiku Rin. We have a Scribo Phil Verde Bosco in a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Akamon Bazudin Wood Grown. We have a Pelican M1000 Raden Starlight in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Inaho. We have a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon. We have a Visconti Ecstasy Daoud in a medium 23 karat palladium nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have a Visconti Camelot in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. We have a Visconti Jacques de Molay in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have an ASC Bologna Extra Arco Brown in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon SBRE Brown. And then last but not least we have an ASC Bologna Extra Arco Verde in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon Bazudan Wood Grown. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.